Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Cities XXL. You meet me back in Pakistan where last time we expanded, we expanded many a great thing, including our crop area. And actually in between episodes I've expanded it even further, if you can't tell. We now have an absolute shit ton of fields. <laughs> But it's actually really helpful, because I've realised that these are actually what fuel a lot of the, the uh, oh god, what is it called? The fucking things that sell things. Shops. <laughs> oh god, you can tell the sort of mental state I'm in right now. Yes, but these fuel a lot of the commercial stuff in the city, as well as bringing us in quite a bit of tax income, which is absolutely wonderful. And that's exactly what we need right now. So if you can see, we're right back into the 18,000. Unfortunately, we are starting to lose a bit more money. We're sort of going down again for some strange reason. Why the hell is this happening? Oh, it's going up again. And it's going down. Why does this happen? All right, look, let's not look too much into that. One thing that I've noticed is that we actually need some areas where the unskilled people can start moving in. Because unfortunately, we did place down some here. And because the satisfaction of this area is pretty damn low, mostly because everything's an absolute piece of shit in this area, because it's right next to the manufacturing and all that jazz, uh, unfortunately it means no one's moving in. And I've actually realised I've not placed down any more areas that unskilled workers can move into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving some of them in over this side. I hope this is actually true and I'm not just speaking out of my ass, because I certainly can't remember placing down any of these over here. So it looks as though, actually, a lot of... The only problem over here is that the leisure satisfaction is low. And actually, look, they're moving in already. So this is probably a good thing to put down, especially with our increased number of farms and other things. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. Let's put it that way. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to put down a little bit more of this. And this is obviously going to help with our income taxes, among with many other things. So it's good all round, basically. Pollution sensors have detected pollution! Should add some parks near houses to reduce the level of pollution. So that is one thing. The game does want me to start putting down more of those parks, which I was really trying to avoid. Uh, one thing that we should probably also put down is some more skilled workers, and we're going to put down some more of those over here. In fact, didn't I put down loads of these before? Now those are elites, executives. We haven't got many skilled workers over here. So I'm looking at this as sort of our nice area of skilled working. So I'm going to put down some skilled workers over this side. I don't really know what compels me to make weird shapes like that, but that's what we're going with. So we're going to have a little pocket of um, skilled working over here. Obviously little meaning quite large because these are high density, not medium or low. And in terms of everything else, I saw that we had a few issues with, I believe it was electricity. So we have a power plant here and other power plants. These are pretty damn awful. But there's not much that I can do about it. I'm wondering whether there's a thing that shows us the satisfaction with the amount of electricity. I imagine there is somewhere. You'd think it'd be in here, wouldn't you? Coastal areas. Ooh. Seaside buildings can be built here. That's pretty cool. Maybe we should look into that at some point. Okay. Travel satisfaction population. Other gubbins that... Yeah, okay, so apparently there's no electricity in this. I am speaking out of my ass. Is this it? Air pollution? Car pollution? Okay, there's nothing around here either. Fine. Waste recycling is far too hard to find. Increased production of waste recycling. Waste. Junkyard. Recycles. Recycles. Max monthly cost. Now, one thing that I did do was that I put down this. And this is taking all of the gubbins from over here. Is it big enough? Number of unskilled workers. Great agricultural fields are doing well. Waste recycling is too hard to find. Right. Does that mean I should be expanding this one instead? I feel as though maybe we should move this. I don't know why, but it just looks tiny. I feel like we need something a bit bigger than that. Let's do it. I'm going to commit. Let's commit. Junkyard. What's the difference? Medium, medium. Is there any difference whatsoever? A dump? Fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this over here. 
Is this wise to be placing next to buildings? We could just put it for efficiency right next to this. That's always a thing. Why does it do this? It confuses me so much when it does this sort of thing. There we go. Right, so this is probably going to be big enough. So, we now need to connect up with a road. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a good large avenue between here and there. There we go. Right, so that should be perfect. Now that this is linked up, I'm hoping... It's not going to cost us any more. I don't know whether that's increased the amount that it actually recycles in one go. It must do, because else what's the point in... Lack of oil achievement. Oh my god. Uh, what is the point in making it bigger if it doesn't improve the capacity of it? Of course, I, again, I have no idea, so it could just be a complete waste of time and money. There must be a reason for it, mustn't there? And what's going on with these oil fields? Are these costing us anything? Resources bought, waste. 5,000, 5,000. Okay. So people have started moving in here, which is good. Hmm. Hmm. Satisfied with retail. Thank God one thing's going right. Waste recycling is too hard to find. Increased production or import. High-tech industry is doing great. What is the problem? Waste recycling. Is that the only problem? Thing is, if I put down another one, it's going to cost 5,000 per turn, which is kind of crazy. That is crazy, isn't it? That's not just me being silly. That is absolutely mental. Monthly cost 5,000 for this. Is there even a problem with water? I have no clue. Well, at least I know where that is. If it's rubbish and it doesn't help, we can get rid of it. Sounds fair enough. Right. What else do we need? It was electricity we were having problems with, wasn't it? What's these cost? 500 per month? I feel as though maybe we should put one of these down. Let's just first check where we have got uh, electricity. And I believe that is in here somewhere. So, I mean, it's so not obvious. Ground relief. Ground waters. So we'll never know. I guess we can just have a little guess that that's going to be good there. And I have no clue. Seems that people are moving in, though, since I've done that. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, maybe that is something that we're lacking on then. Electricity. Yeah, look. Okay. So maybe what we should do then is put down a pylon over here as well. If this is our problem the whole time of people not moving in because there's no electricity, I swear to God... I swear to God. Is that it? No, it doesn't seem like they're moving in that quickly. Maybe it was just a coincidence. A quinky dink. Hmm. Still don't know about this whole leisure thing. It seems as though I could do a lot better with leisure. Although, again, I, I just don't know at what point is the money that you're spending worth it. Let's just put down some more high tech. Fine, whatever. High tech, you can go here. There we go. Manufacturing, heavy industry, just offices in general. Are there any of these which don't require me to pay like an absolute, well, my entire life's earnings in this game? Unemployment is at its lowest. Good. At least everyone's got jobs, even though they don't want to live here. There we go. It's weird this, isn't it? It's like sometimes it lets you click to place, but then others it doesn't. There we go. Fine. So there's loads of offices, loads of office development. I might have to build some more farmland to boost the amount that I'm getting in. Oh dear. Okay, elites. Again, all I can think of doing is just placing down more of these. I don't even know if there's... Is this the right thing to do? I feel as though I'm just being stupid. 
people aren't saying I'm stupid in the comments, so... I would kind of wish you were telling me I was stupid, because then at least I'd know and I'd be doing something else. God damn it, tell me I'm stu I've never wanted to be told that I'm stupid more than this. Okay. So, I guess one thing that I can do is just start looking to see if I can improve this at all. It doesn't look as if I can. I could start placing down some people over here. What are these? They seem to be happy. Unskilled workers. I guess we could put down some more unskilled workers. Again, I just don't know. It just doesn't seem to fit right in my mind. That is a weird bit of road. I can't be bothered to change it, though. Probably should. I guess we can try our luck in the golden zone up here. Though again, people just aren't moving in up here. Security satisfaction. So maybe we can improve the security satisfaction up here so that people want to move in. But you look at that, I mean, they're bloody happy here with security. Leisure education. So it says that it has a bad uh, reputation amongst elites. Electricity is too expensive. Citizens want more, electri uh, more leisure activities. There aren't enough tourism services. So maybe we should start investing in the seaside resort stuff. I have no idea how to get there. Buildings, residence, Americas, Europe, Asia, beach. I have no beach. Mountain buildings. High quality hotel. We can put this on a mountain. Why the hell not? Is this even relevant? Probably not. What does it even do? Location for nine tourists. 200? Small hotel. Small standard hotel. So there's some tourist stuff. Again, is this relevant at all? God, look how small it is. How ridiculous. Perfect. Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, buildings. Supermarket. Large shop. Mountain buildings, beach buildings. Oh, I see! Look, there's no residences. But we do have these things. Oh. Small pier entrance. Unfortunately, we have got the problem that we don't really run many roads over here. Maybe we should try and run a big road over this way. Because the fucking land is horrible, maybe I need to terraform it first, but then we get into this stupid situation where I'm making everything look completely stupid again. Fine. Is this good? It doesn't look like it's helping. Oh god, I hit the microphone. I mean, look how steep this is. How would you do anything with that? Can I even run a road over this way? Oh well, I can. Holy shit. There we go. Is that a start? I can't really tell. But if this is good enough for a pier, then I'm happy. Even if it's an absolute waste of time. What is this? Sea house. Coastal house, sea house. Coastal home. Buildings. Hotel of the coast. So this would have to go over here. Hmm. Beach buildings. Tennis court, swimming pool, jacuzzi. I guess we can put a jacuzzi out here, although why the hell would someone go all the way out here for a jacuzzi? Doesn't seem to make much sense, does it? An aqua park. I guess we could put an aqua park here. Is that even connected to the road? I can't even tell, you know. I guess, if anything, it's going to bring in money. Oh no, it's taking away money! Oh dear god, what the hell? No, piss off. That's the last thing I need right now. Did not realise that it was going to cost us money. Although, what was I really expecting? Small marine... How do we do coastal roads? A road on stilts! Ah. ah! I 
You have to connect the roads. Okay. Square zone on the ground. Square zone on the water. Okay. Exotic plaza. Oh my god, look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore. I feel as though maybe we should start trying to terraform. If we can, this little area here. If we can just expand it into the sea. Is that just rubbish? I can't really tell. Because that's going to be too high, isn't it? Let's be honest. And now nothing's going to be able to get up here. Oh, for God's sake, why is everything so difficult? I mean, I could imagine that you'd spend a good bit of time trying to get this sort of thing. Oh no, mind you, look. Wow. Okay then. There we go, we're connected up. Okay, now the, the other question is, can I extend this right to the edge? I can. Now the other question <laughs> is, can I do this? Not enough room. Maybe I don't need this here. Let's try again. I'm determined to get this working. Oh my god! We can have a sea town! The great Atlantis city of Pakistan! Oh my god! Okay, look, stop getting too excited. Oh, this is epic! Oh my god! Small skilled workers, sea house, sea home. Ah, square zone on the water. A square zone of what? Allows citizens to move into the city. Square residential zone. There we go. Is that good? What is this? Skilled workers? This is so weird. Oh my god. Why is this guy just dancing and holding his neck? Maybe that's what they do in in Seaworth, Pakistan. I don't know if that's what I'm going to call it. That's an awful name. The Lost Sea City of Atlantis. Restaurant on the coast. Sure. Taxes, level of activity. Cool. Needs unskilled workers. Wow. This is cool. Hotel of the coast. Off the coast. Of course, that's going to have to go over there. Right, okay, what else have we got? San Francisco City Hall. What? What? Okay. Restaurant of the sea. These people are going to have so many fucking restaurants, they're going to love it. Okay, we're going to put this here. Fire services of the sea. This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't even... Why, how can you even put fire services out here? That doesn't make much sense, does it? What is this? Step 3 of construction. Over 3,000 buildings. Okay. I mean, I guess we could just have these people moving in because then we'd get money off of them. Oh no, because look, they're empty, I see. I see, I see. Do you get the pun? Because they're on the sea. Gosh, shut up. You idiot. No one cares. I have no idea how it's... How, how do you build more stuff out here? This is deeply confusing. Small skilled workers, sea house, coastal home. Unskilled workers, sea house, buildings. Small marina, leisure. Is that a good thing? These don't cost anything monthly, which is good. Large hotel. 
another sea restaurant, a great marina, large leisure, blueprint. This is so confusing, I don't even know what's going on anymore. So it's like, okay, these are the, these are the Americas, right? So they have houses over here. But then, where the fuck, how the fuck do you get leisure? Well, leisure's fine, right? Because you can place down the restaurants and marinas. Where the fuck do you get fire services? And you'd think it being on the sea, you wouldn't have many problems with fire, but that's not true at all. It looks really cool, though, doesn't it? Oh my god, the size of this man's head. I just felt as if I had to zoom in. Look! Upskirt. Okay, well, whatever. This is a very strange episode. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Leave ratings and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.